Vele do mu fubek fane le yam tumi sasmagat. Engani sugela ngan di lom tala watinsu uwasati shela netinsu unendvumi sowashe la guti iyaba umsha ne nembele ko umkwa kolo ya ushanga ni saumu funangulungulu emafu salesha kamnazi etinse benta lo vabo vani. Sugelangan di lom tala watinsu uwasati shela netinsu. Wakfane le vele go moon to em to me, says Magat. See, I fell in love with a man who just rocked my world. He chumped the living daylight out of me. He stole my heart, replaced it with his love. He was charming enough that I just could not resist his irresistibly sweet charm. In the midst of my so called fun life, his sweet talk to me into an intimate relationship with him. Believe me he's everything you would aspire in a relationship thing is it happened that i handed my whole life to him and ended up hand in hand with him which is just so an end to my past it's so fault i did not deserve him but he just saw everything in me he captured my heart and i fell for his presence his name is jesus Jesus Christ, the lover of my soul, the very same Jesus whom King David of old speaks in words, combined sentences. He cries out to my father in verse 10 and 10. He says, create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit from me. Do not cast me away from your presence or take your Holy Spirit. I asked, dear God, what is man that you? Are mindful of him to bless him with your Holy Spirit. What is man that you are mindful of him to bless him with your Holy Spirit? It is you, O God, in creation, where you said to Jesus and the Holy Spirit, Let us make men in our own image, in our own likeness, solely for the purposes of worshiping him. What is man that you are mindful of him to bless him with your Holy Spirit? So many a times did I falter and went wild with my carnal cravings. I tried to satisfy the flesh with sin. But in the midst of all of that, you, O oh God, speak aloud and said, My grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in weakness. At that very moment, I am brought down to my knees, and I understand it's important we tell the truth. Let's tell the truth. Mankind is nothing without his salvation. World comes and goes, beauty fades, fashion forever changes. Technology is never at standstill. Let's tell the truth. Mankind is nothing without his salvation. Thing is, we go to sleep, not sure of waking up the next day. We stretch ourselves in all directions, just trying to make ends meet. We go through excruciating stress studying theories that will allow us an entrance into an office just to get a salary. Let's tell the truth. Mankind is nothing without salvation. Our age mates make babies just to call each other, hey baby. We avoid awkward Conversation, so not to offend Minister of Finance as he is financing our drinks. Let's tell the truth. Mankind is nothing without his salvation. The truth of the matter is, mankind is nothing without his salvation. Engani was and That is why, through salvation, we are kids of a polygamist we stand together as one a family of different surnames headed by one father the father of all nations the almighty father so over the years we have a bolty bonds that bind us to being the best of our bodies but before that we might have stood as bitter rivals who saw it best to solve our differences and dance to the sound of the beat Like a dream which never comes true. This might have started as a dream, but we are now living in that dream which a dream has only wish to live in it. So, brothers and sisters, we have become this is a journey that requires us to prove to the rest of the world the tactics that will technically turn the tide against a tribe for trials, tribulations, temptations, and tests, perseverance, vigor, and strength, all based on prayer, will determine our altitude. But we should be careful of attitude as it might attribute ignorance. In whatever genuine circumstance we are faced with, let us always remember that failure is success, delayed, delayed, that when it comes during dawn, it delights the living daylight out of all of us.